on now, and so we would call and talk with him, and he always had, you know, this a good, good anecdote for us, or, you know, a little bit of advice, you know, and of course he always followed it up with a joke, you know, but it was, it was always important, and those are the things, that, the, that was the first thought I had was, you know, oh, we won't be making any more memories. And just like his brother, we thought he would always be here. Brave, courageous, funny, wise, Ron Savage dedicated his life to helping others. Saturday, our dear friend and colleague passed away suddenly, suffering a heart attack after a training exercise with the Milford Fire Department where he volunteered. Today, heartbroken family, friends, and even strangers are lining up to say goodbye. Fox 2's Josh Landon is in Milford right now with more. Top job, a life well lived indeed. Family, friends, co workers, people from all over the state of Michigan came to Lynch and Sons Funeral Home in Milford on Wednesday to honor the gentle giant, our dear friend at Fox 2, Ron Savage. Always full of life, always positive. If you didn't have the pleasure to meet Ron Savage during his lifetime, his brother Tom Savage can give you a good illustration. Their personalities almost identical. It is just so amazing because we have gone through and we're standing in line and even Mitzi was saying we've been standing there since this started and the strength we have gotten from all the people that come in it's you know viewers the, the police the fire people like yourself it is so rewarding. Governor Snyder ordered flags at half staff to honor Ron Savage. He loved and enjoyed being around everyone. The type of man who made sure the next person was always okay before himself. One reason why so many people came out to pay their respects. It's so massive, you know, through the state, through the city. He loved the city of Detroit. Well, they're paying it back, and that's what shows how big Ron was. Tributes can be seen throughout Milford, where Ron lived with his wife, Mitzi, and their son, Ronnie, and where he also served as a volunteer firefighter. Ron always would make it to Ronnie's basketball games, and the two would come here to Red Dog Saloon and grill afterwards. Always had a smile on his face, always had a presence when he came in, you know, he's a big guy, so. But sort of the gentle giant. He always made me feel, you know, like he knew me. Come up and shake my hand and stuff like that. Just a real down to earth good person. And this is Ron. I mean, this is what's summing up his life. There's no words that can do it. It's all these actions and, and the nice words that everybody is saying. For Tom Savage and the rest of the family, there are countless things they will miss not having top job around physically. But one thing for sure, not having the opportunity to create more wonderful memories. All the family things, all the community things. I also had the chance to talk to Ron's wife and his other siblings. Everyone is holding up strong during this difficult time. They want to thank everyone throughout the state of Michigan for their support. Our dear friend Ron Savage will be laid to rest here in Milford on Thursday. In Milford, Josh Land. And Fox 2 News. Yeah, and it really is a, a community coming together. Oh, yeah. uh, everybody that was at the visitation today, earlier today, some of our co workers all said that it was just remarkable to see the number of people who were coming out. And all around Milford, businesses, everyone's showing their support for the family. Milford was his hometown, yeah. and you really got a sense of how much they loved him there. Mm -hmm. I mean, all over the city, there are signs and tributes prayers and praises for Ron Savage. And uh, what a remarkable family. Uh, you can see that this man, Ron Savage, has the right stuff. He mm -hmm. comes from the right stuff. And that was evident in what he did here on the anchor desk and also what he did out there every day. Yeah, absolutely. No question. Well, thousands of people are expected to attend tomorrow's funeral. Ron's family has requested that we stream the service live online so that everyone who cannot attend can still be a part of the service.